rains, but that will hopefully change by Friday so we can get up there and enjoy it. Well, last week I was joking that Dan was going to call in sick because of the good weather, and uh, he's a skier, <laughs> viewers, so Dan, don't call in sick to go ski, okay? Well, no, I can't. <laughs> We're calling you out for a reason. Well, we could go up there, Aaron, and do some live reports. There you go. I would love that. That would be a lot of. Oh, you wanted to. Oh, okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. Or the marrier. Okay. <laughs> either way, it'll be fantastic to see either in person or on air, no doubt. Once we can get up there, right? That's always the trick. But if you are looking to ski the lemon, I've got the forecast for you. If you're headed up Thursday, you might still see a flake or two falling. 36 degrees for a high, 36 on Friday, 41. Saturday and 44 on Sunday. Check out those morning lows at, if not below the freezing mark. So here's the deal with that travel up Catalina Highway. We still have the winter storm warning active through tomorrow morning. So as I mentioned in the earlier newscast, and I will mention again, no matter how much you're chomping at the bit to get up there, you don't want to do it right now. Downright dangerous. We'll let you know if that warning does get extended beyond tomorrow morning by the National Weather Service. Catalina Highway right now, the last phone call I made is closed, but it may open and sometimes with restrictions. That would mean you'd have to have chains on your tires, four wheel drive or all wheel drive. The deal is it can change very quickly. Those conditions heading up, so you'll want to call ahead of time. 520-351-3351. That is the number to call and check on road conditions, and they do update it pretty frequently. That winter storm warning I just talked about still covers the mountains of South Southeast Arizona above the 7000 foot level right now it stands through tomorrow morning, but again that could get extended we will be the first to alert you to that ski valley showing uh, about four inches of new snow there, but we do still see some snow falling. In fact, through tomorrow morning we're expecting storm snowfall totals to top out close to a foot in places like Mount Graham, Hannigan Meadow, Chiricahua Peak and even some areas of Mount Lemon and as impressive as the snow perhaps has been and the rain has really outdone itself here over the last 72 hours. In case you missed it earlier, we've had two daily rainfall records broken now for the Tucson area, one on Sunday and one today. And take a look at some of these impressive 72 hour rainfall totals from around eastern Pima County. Ajo, over three inches of rain. Far western Pima County there. Kanoa Ranch, two inches of rain. Green Valley, one and three quarters of an inch. Reed Park Zoo, about one and seven tenths. So much of the area has had well over an inch of rain. And guess what? Climate Prediction Center says more to come during the January 30th through February 5th time frame. So basically a week from now through the following Monday, it's forecasting a 70 to 80% chance above average rainfall for about 80% of Arizona. We'll have to wait and see if that comes to fruition, but boy, wouldn't that be interesting after tonight's low of 47 will warm to a mere 60 tomorrow. That rain will move out pretty quickly after the morning commute. All right, boy, it's much needed moisture though. Yes, it's been a nice couple.